Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make your own M3U and customize it to exactly what you want. So to do this, I'm going to open up an example file I've already set up. So this is a file I've created. What I've done, I've just opened up Notepad++, brand new like this. I've gone to File, Save As, and in here I've just selected from the drop down all files and at the end I've changed .txt to .m3u. Okay, so that's what we've done with this file. So the name of this file, you, have, you must have this at the top so it knows it is going to be an m3u file. And this, these are the strings that are important for the titles. Yeah. So for argument's sake, media name. So I'm going to say we're going to look at something on YouTube. So I've got a favorite video. And I'm going to say the location is the UK. And the channel name, again, is going to be, I'll just call it YouTube. So And the country is going to be UK. OK. Channel name or friendly name. And it's going to be the name of the video. So we're just going to call it like and subscribe. Yeah. So that's what we've done there. If you have a lot of them, these categories come in handy because in VLC, you can organize things by category. So hence why in here you would put UK, or you could put entertainment, or you could put um, free view or anything like that. So just for this, we're going to put UK and we're going to put YouTube. Yep. So that's good. So now we need a URL. So let's go to my channel and we're going to search for like subscribe. Okay, I'm going to click on this video. So now I'm going to paste this link in here. That's it. That's all I've got to do. Press enter. Click save. And now we're going to open this file with VLC. So you can see it's called example because this is the name of the actual text, the actual M M3U file. But if we change that to my entertainment or my M3U or my links, it's up to you. You can name it what you want. So I look at VLC now and I double click on this. I can see I've got a like and subscribe. And again, the like and subscribe comes in here. Where is it? There's the name of it. Yeah. So if I go to it and I double click. And that's just one link. So if you wanted to do another link to a different service, for argument's sake, um, let's say you had a home video. Yeah, this is what we can do. Yep. So what we're going to do now, we're going to point the same sort of thing to a video on your computer. So if I just paste this in. So this says uh, the name of the video on your computer, exactly what it says. So change that to the title of your video. Is it an action video? Yes, it might be, or it could be, you know, a home movie or it could be anything. And again, we're going to change it then to the name of the video and the year you'd like for this video. So did you make the video in 2000, 95, whatever? And this will help categorize it going forward. So, and your video is located in D downloads, like, and subscribe. So if we just save this now, and then I open this up in VRC. And then we double click on the same file again. Before we only add like and subscribe. But this is now the name of the file on your computer in the year. So this is why you name it. So if I double click on the So let's change it for argument's sake. So now we're going to say 
the name of the video is like and subscribe on YouTube. And what we're going to do We're going to paste this in here and we're going to say it was um, 2025. Yep, so we'll save that now. And if we go to it, right click the file, open with VLC, double click, and there you'll see we've renamed it now. So you can have as many as you want and you can play this file anywhere you want on your network. Obviously, if you go outside your network, then you can't. 